in the vast emptiness of space, where silence reigns and stars are mere pinpricks of light, a tiny spacecraft has been drifting for nearly half a century. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 was never meant to survive this long, never designed to whisper secrets from the edge of the cosmos. Yet after 46 years, it has done the impossible. Its latest transmission, a faint signal from 12 billion miles away, has stunned scientists, shattered expectations, and sparked a firestorm of questions that could rewrite everything we thought we knew about the universe. What did Voyager 2 find? Why is it being called the most shocking discovery in space exploration history? And why are some whispering that this could change humanity's place in the cosmos forever? Buckle up, because this journey is about to take you to the edge of reality itself. Picture this. A machine no bigger than a small car, built with technology older than most people watching this, floating in the freezing void of interstellar space. Its memory is a mere 69 kilobytes, less than a single photo on your phone. Its power comes from a decaying plutonium battery fading by four watts every year. Its signal, weaker than a refrigerator light bulb, takes 18 hours to reach Earth. By all accounts, this spacecraft should have died decades ago, its circuits frozen, its voice silenced. But Voyager 2 refuses to quit. Against every odd, it's still talking, still sending data, still revealing truths we never expected. And what it just found is nothing short of mind-blowing. Back in the 1960s, a rare cosmic event set this journey in motion. The planets aligned, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, strung across the sky like stepping stones. A young engineer, working with just pencil and paper, calculated a path to use their gravity like a slingshot, hurling Voyager too farther than humanity had ever gone. It was a once in 176 year opportunity a celestial highway that would never open again in our lifetimes. The spacecraft visited Jupiter's raging storms, Saturn's glittering rings, Uranus's icy mysteries, and Neptune's ghostly blue haze. Each encounter was a triumph, a glimpse into worlds we'd only dreamed of. But its true mission was always the unknown. What lies beyond the planets, beyond the sun's reach, beyond the edge of our solar system. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed that edge, a boundary called the Heliopause. This is where the sun's influence, its solar wind, a stream of charged particles, gives way to the wild, uncharted pressures of interstellar space. Scientists expected a clean break, a clear shift from the sun's protective bubble to the raw chaos of the galaxy. But what Voyager 2 found was anything but expected. The data was strange, contradictory, almost impossible. There was a massive spike in plasma density, proof it had entered interstellar space. But the magnetic field, which should have flipped dramatically, stayed stubbornly the same. It was as if the spacecraft had stepped into a new dimension, only to find the rules of physics hadn't changed, or worse, they were playing by rules we don't understand. For decades, we imagined the heliosphere, the sun's magnetic shield, as a neat, teardrop-shaped cocoon, trailing behind like a comet's tail. It was supposed to protect us from the galaxy's dangers, a cosmic barrier between home and the unknown. But Voyager 2's data paints a different picture. A chaotic, turbulent frontier, not a sharp line, but a blurry, shifting zone. The spacecraft detected wild fluctuations, ghostly pulses of cosmic rays, plasma waves that didn't match the sun's rhythms, and radiation spikes that seemed to come from nowhere. 
It was like sailing into a storm where the waves don't follow any pattern, where the horizon keeps moving. Scientists were stunned. This wasn't the orderly boundary they'd modeled for years. It was something else, a place that defies every equation, every theory, every assumption. And then came the discovery that stopped everyone in their tracks. Deep in the data, buried in the faint whispers of Voyager's aging instruments, was something that shouldn't exist. A region of stable plasma, a pocket of calm in the interstellar storm, paired with rising galactic radiation, but no shift in the magnetic field. According to physics, this is impossible. Stable plasma and surging radiation should be accompanied by a dramatic magnetic realignment. But there was nothing, just silence where there should have been chaos and chaos where there should have been order. Some scientists began to whisper, what if the heliosphere isn't shaped by the sun alone? What if something else, something massive, something galactic is twisting it, pulling it, reshaping it in ways we can't yet comprehend? The implications are staggering. If the heliosphere isn't the neat bubble we thought, then our understanding of the solar system's place in the galaxy is wrong. Voyager 2's data suggests the boundary is being warped by interstellar forces, magnetic fields from distant stars, winds from ancient supernovae, or even denser invisible structures lurking in the void. This isn't just a scientific puzzle. It's a cosmic wake-up call. The galaxy is not a passive backdrop. It's alive, dynamic, and far more powerful than we realized. And Voyager 2, a relic from the 1970s, is the only thing telling us the truth. What makes this discovery even more incredible is how it was made. Voyager 2's instruments are half a century old. Its computers are slower than a pocket calculator. Its power source is dying, forcing engineers to shut down systems one by one. The cosmic ray detector's heater was turned off years ago to save energy, leaving it exposed to temperatures near absolute zero. Everyone thought it would fail, frozen solid in the depths of space. But it didn't. It kept working, defying its own design, as if it knew it had one last story to tell. With only five instruments still active, Voyager 2 is running on fumes. By 2030, it may go silent forever. But before it does, it's screaming one final earth-shattering truth. The universe is stranger than we ever imagined. Now let's talk about the most haunting part of this discovery. Voyager 2 didn't just find anomalies in plasma or radiation. It detected something else, something that's being whispered about in NASA's halls, but hasn't been fully released to the public. A low-band instrument picked up a signal, a brief 2.4-second spike that wasn't random noise, wasn't a plasma wave, wasn't anything they could explain. It was mathematically precise, repeating in a way that felt deliberate. Not intelligent, not communication, at least not in the way we understand it, but structured, like a beacon meant to be noticed. The official line? A glitch an error in the spacecraft's ancient circuits. But behind closed doors, some engineers aren't so sure. One was quoted saying, it didn't feel like a mistake. It felt like something wanted to be seen. This signal, if real, changes everything. For 46 years, Voyager 2 has been humanity's farthest scout, carrying a golden record, a 12-inch disc etched with music, images and greetings in 55 languages. It's Earth's calling card, a message to the cosmos that says, we are here. The record holds the sounds of laughter, the rush of waves, the cry of a newborn, and a message of hope. This is a present from a small, distant world, 
a token of our sounds, our science, our images, our music, our thoughts, and our feelings. We are attempting to survive our time so we may live into yours. That record is drifting through interstellar space farther than any human creation has ever gone. And now, Voyager 2 may have heard something back. The idea is chilling. If that signal wasn't a glitch, what was it? A natural phenomenon we've never encountered? A remnant of some ancient cosmic event? Or dare we say it, something else entirely? The galaxy is vast, older than we can comprehend, filled with forces and structures we've only begun to study. Collapsed stars, rogue planets, clouds of plasma denser than anything we've imagined. Voyager 2 is sailing through a graveyard of cosmic history where every signal could be a clue or a warning. The radiation it's detecting, those structured pulses of cosmic rays, could be the echoes of supernovae billions of years old. Or they could be something we're not ready to name. This discovery isn't just about science, it's about us. Voyager 2 is more than a machine. It's a piece of humanity, a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream bigger than ourselves. It was built by hand, coded by people who poured their hearts into a mission that might outlive them all. It carries our music, our voices, our hopes, into a universe that doesn't care if we exist. And yet, it's still out there, still fighting, still sending back truths that make us question everything. The signal it detected, whether a glitch or a cosmic whisper, forces us to confront a profound reality. We are not alone in the universe, not because there's life out there, but because the universe itself is alive, pulsing, chaotic, and full of mysteries we're only beginning to touch. Think about what this means. Voyager 2 is 12 billion miles away, in a place where sunlight is a faint memory, where temperatures are so cold they'd shatter steel, where the galaxy's raw power slams into the spacecraft with no mercy. Its instruments are battered by cosmic rays, subatomic bullets from exploded stars that could tear through DNA, fry electronics, and render any human mission unthinkable. Yet this tiny machine keeps going, keeps listening, keeps telling us that the edge of our solar system isn't an end, but a beginning. It's showing us that the universe doesn't follow our rules, doesn't care about our models, and doesn't owe us answers. But it's also showing us that we can still ask questions, still reach out, still dream. The emotional weight of this hits hard. Voyager 2 isn't just a spacecraft. It's a mirror reflecting who we were and who we could be. In the 1970s, when wars raged and the world felt divided, a group of scientists, engineers, and dreamers built something to outlast them. They didn't do it for fame or money. They did it because they believed in the power of curiosity, in the idea that humanity could touch the stars. And now, 46 years later, that same machine is still speaking, still carrying our story, still proving that we can do the impossible. Its discovery, this impossible signal, this chaotic boundary, this glimpse of a universe we don't understand, is a reminder that we're capable of more than we realize, that our reach can exceed our grasp, that our questions can outlive our answers. But time is running out. Voyager 2's power is fading. Its plutonium battery is decaying. And soon, its instruments will shut down one by one. By the early 2030s, it may go silent, drifting forever with its golden record, a lonely ambassador in the cosmic dark. Before that happens, it's given us one final gift, a discovery that challenges everything. The heliosphere isn't what we thought. The galaxy is wilder, stranger, more dangerous than we imagined. 
And that signal, that fleeting, mathematically perfect spike, might be nothing. Or it might be everything. It might be the universe whispering back, telling us we're not alone, not in the way we hoped, but in a way we can't yet understand. This isn't just a scientific breakthrough. It's a moment that forces us to look up, to wonder, to feel the weight of our place in the cosmos. Voyager 2 has carried humanity's voice farther than we ever thought possible. It's shown us that the edge isn't the end, that the impossible isn't unreachable, and that sometimes the smallest signal from the farthest place can say more than all the noise on Earth. What did it find? Was it just a glitch? A cosmic coincidence? Or was it the first hint of something bigger, something we're only beginning to grasp? The answer isn't clear, but the question is electrifying. It makes you wonder, what else is out there waiting for us to listen? What other truths are hiding in the silence, waiting for us to be brave enough to hear them? As Voyager 2 drifts deeper into the unknown, its signal growing fainter, its voice growing softer, it leaves us with a challenge. Not to solve the mystery, not to explain the signal, but to keep asking, to keep exploring, to keep believing that the universe, for all its vastness and indifference, is worth reaching for. This tiny spacecraft, built by human hands, powered by human dreams, has done more than cross the heliopause. It's crossed the boundaries of what we thought was possible. It's reminded us that the greatest discoveries don't come from certainty, but from courage. The courage to send a piece of ourselves into the dark, to listen for whispers we might never understand, and to keep going, even when the odds say we should stop. So what do you think Voyager 2 found? A quirk of physics, a glitch in the system, or something more? A clue to a universe we're only beginning to explore? Let that question linger. Let it inspire you. Let it remind you that the stars are still calling and we're still answering. Subscribe, hit the bell, and join us as we keep chasing the unknown. Because Voyager 2 isn't just a machine. It's a promise. A promise that humanity's greatest discoveries are still out there waiting in the silence.